e forward slash to buy one and good luck with that quiz. Over to Libby now with some top careers advice from the experts. Thank you, Marwan. Yes, they are here again this season. 20-somethings teaming up with Bait.com, the number one job site in the Middle East. Covering North Africa too, it is used by over 30,000 organizations. Every week, we've got Bait's best jobs available right now. And we've got top advice on job hunting. I am joined now by the company's advertising sales manager, Ruchika Dawan, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much, Lovna. It's good to have you. Now, we are talking about the top 10 things that people need to have on their CV. What are they? Right. Now, the first thing is definitely the career objective. We've been emphasizing on the same thing as last week. So career objective is the key, which is your first impression. So it needs to be very focused and it needs to be very brief. Mm -hmm. Then it comes to the position you're seeking uh, to show yourself as a confident and a professional candidate. Uh, and so you actually say what position you want on the CV? Absolutely, oh. absolutely. So uh, you need to show yourself as a confident and a focused and a, a, an idle candidate for that job. Mm. Uh, then it comes to your skills. Mm -hmm. One should make sure the skills are relevant to the job. Mm -hmm. And uh, it comes to the references. Now, one must put professional references in there and avoid using friends and family for such reasons. Right. But what if your friends are the professionals? Well, it's Is better okay? to keep the professionals there to avoid using friends in okay. there. Uh, and then it comes to the memberships. So for fresh graduates, an empty CV is not an excuse. Mm. So they must put something uh, like a social club membership, which actually shows more than what a CV can show you. Yeah. Uh, then it comes to your scores. Now, in your education section, you must put your scores, your GPA, uh, and put it only when they're impressive enough. Mm. Uh, so if they're not... Avoid using that too. Okay. <laughs> uh, then it comes to uh, you know, professional achievements. Uh, now you should have two distant sections about your job responsibilities and then about your achievements and highlights, which it, which makes it easier for an employer to read it. Okay. Uh, then it comes to active verbs. Now active verbs are the best representation of a doer. So and you can active have active verbs. What, what do you mean? Like what? Uh, using examples of what you've done. So, for example, instead of uh, building a brand, you've built a brand for a certain company. Okay. can work way better. So, like, I have done this. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And you can have a full list of top action verbs on bait.com. Oh, okay. Absolutely. And then it comes to video CV. Now, bait.com was the first to introduce this wonderful video technology uh, in the Middle East. Cool. So, right, you can actually humanize your CV. And the last is additional pointers like use present tense, you must uh, use limited bulleting and limit your CV to maximum two pages. Okay, yeah, because that's a, that's a very interesting point you make there because usually I'm always like, should I make it one, should I make it two? I've been, I usually get told that it's one. Now you guys are telling me that it's two. I so think two is just fine one will be for some if you have a lot of experience you cannot really fix it in okay. one so now we are moving into the my favorite part and I'm sure a lot of people's favorite part is the top hot jobs at bait.com today right so we have about 7,000 jobs as I mentioned earlier posted mm -hmm. every day on a website out of them the few top jobs are yes a leading regional sales and distribution organization looking for a database support administrator. A leading provider of global market intelligence looking for associate consultant. A site engineer required for a leading construction company. A world leading company in energy and healthcare looking for a commercial controller. A leading financial services company looking for a business development manager. Well, thank you very much. That was very comprehensive. More from Bait next week. 